five, four, three, two, one. We're live. Probably. I think we're live. Welcome to today's Daily Breather. Yeah, there uh, you go. Yep, there's me counting down. Great. <laughs> um, cool. Thanks for being here. Yeah. We are going to kick things off with uh, deep breaths, and we're going to practice some gratitude, and we're going to have these candles lit for everybody who's struggling right now. So if you have candles at home, feel free to light your own and kind of spread that positive energy around. Mm -hmm. So let's take a deep breath, straighten your spine, feel the air go in your gut, your diaphragm area, not your lungs, because that makes your shoulders go up. Just <laughs> breathe right here in your stomach. And we're gonna count down from three, and then we'll breathe in, we'll hold it, and we'll breathe out. Here we go. Three, two, one, in. And out. One more time. Three, two, one, in. And out. I heard somebody say seven times is like the ideal number. I could be wrong. Yeah. Good luck if you have any uh, springtime allergies <laughs> to get through seven. Um, but it's super good to keep practicing. Um, at least spend one minute on your breath every day. And we like to do a lot of check-ins. So uh, when we're on tour and things are chaotic and there's no schedule and everything is wild, we just look at each other and we said. How is our mental health today? How's our physical health today? Let's just do a little check-in. And we like to do a little moment of gratitude. So let us know what you're grateful for today. I am really grateful for um, how long the days are right now. The mm. sun, like, <laughs> by the time I'm up, the sun is up and it hasn't been going down until, like, 9 o'clock. So yeah, I'm not used to that. Right? I'm, from, I'm from the Detroit area, so, you know, being all this way north and also being this far along the time zone, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah, it's weird to be, like, still seeing the sun at 9 p.m. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm really I'm, grateful for that. I'm grateful for fresh vegetables. I'm, like, a huge fan of when we would go to festivals. Sometimes people would be selling carrots, and there were, like, asparagus. Buy, like, the bunch. And I would just buy a bunch of carrots and jalapenos and eat them like apples as I ran around the festival. I'm just really grateful for um, the fresh veggies that keep rolling into my house every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I am thankful for, um, let's see, I don't know, I've just been really amazed at how green everything got so quickly, like, uh, we're looking out our window in our daily breather room here, and mm -hmm. I can't see the sky anymore because the trees have all gotten leaves on them, uh, which was not the case, like, five days ago. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm really happy that everything has bloomed, that spring is here and summer is close on its way. Absolutely. Same. We're going to play a song, um, not about that. <laughs> it's about colder weather. <laughs> it's about the opposite of that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here's, a, here's one off the upcoming record. It's called Colder Weather.
shut down The words that came out of their mouths They let the seeds of their fears sprout Until they grew into weeds Now it's a bitter acre It will tear in its own flakes So we look at birds as our keepsakes And see what hope they bring I'm trying real hard not to lose The energy that you took her from my phone So we've got a book today, just came in the mail. Um, before I show you this, um, we have been part of Fleming Booking Agency for a little bit now, and uh, every week we do a Zoom call on Thursdays, and it's been really interesting. One time Jeff Daniels was on our Zoom call, another time we had two baby wild deer show up in one of the frames of the <laughs> Zoom calls. Just uh, different guests every time. and. Uh, different people, and we've met so many new friends through it, actually, including uh, Garnet Rogers, who wrote this 735-page autobiography about touring, and I read some of it last night, and the opening pages were just so real, <laughs> like, down to the cold cuts that are left over after after yeah. shows, like, mm -hmm. they have, like, they're like, all we have is a loaf of white bread and some cold cuts and a jar of mustard, I'm like feel that so if you were, if you're looking for like a way to really cap like be part of the touring experience and you want to hear about the craziness and the travels the back actually says the bar fights and the bike gangs the police chases and the arrests and a thousand gigs in every corner of north america it's all here at least most of it i think um this is a really amazing book for everything it is huge but it's called night drive travels with my brother by garnet rogers and uh, I think I think we should check it out. I I love it so far. It's so um, real to everything that a touring artist would experience. So. Seems like yeah, if we wrote a a book about traveling, it would have to be that big. If we took all of my <laughs> journals plus the tour blogs that we do for Patreon every week, yeah, it would be about this thick. Would it would be about this. I've written three journals worth of 400 pages handwritten so what you're saying that if anybody out there has read all of sam's tour blogs this book should be no no yeah be no way breeze yeah, yeah it'll be a breeze <laughs> and um thanks to everyone who's been sharing our daily breathers um every other day we've been announcing our giveaway winners um from a drawing and everyone who's shared and so today's winner is emma schwab and we'll reach out and get your address and send you a book um thank you for sharing because we're really trying to promote our local bookstore brilliant books get the word out they're mailing out books and i don't know about all y'all but 
music has been really important and books have been really important to me during this time and podcasts absolutely consuming lots of art um so just an announcement friday will be our 50th daily breather in a row and while none of us are completely finished with the series we're not really sure if we're completely finished we're gonna put a pause on the daily check-in while the sun is shining we're gonna get serious about finishing this album and getting some new music to you guys so uh it's a, it's on pause starting on friday yep and we are going to reintroduce our um three for tea so we're gonna go back to thursdays at three o'clock eastern time and if we feel like we need to add another day in the mix every week um we'll do that but we'll be doing a mini check-in and playing some more tunes once a week Mm -hmm. (laughs) and uh if you want to watch all the other daily breathers all 50 of them will be up on our youtube channel uh so check those out we've got all of our pyps up there as well um and yeah we'll uh we'll let you know if we end up jumping back in but for now three for tea uh thursdays at three yeah if things if things get back heavy you know we'll we'll jump back on we'll continue the series so it's not like it's gone forever. It's just we're going to try getting focused on summertime for one. We're going to get outside more, and we're going to continue to finish our album. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see you um, tomorrow and Friday at noon. Also, Friday night we're doing a live stream concert for um, uh, a really good friend of ours. Uh, do you want to say who else is on the lineup? It's at, it starts at 7 o'clock Friday. Yes, let me see this lineup because we're looking forward to it. It's a Homestyle Festival is the name of the festival. It starts at 7. We got us plus Zach Sai and the Band Date Night. We got Steffi James. Y'all, Steffi James, come on. Cooper Allen and Brother C. So between all of us, we're going to be playing a really fun festival on Friday starting at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, we will be posting all kinds of stuff before then. So. Yep, and um, to tomorrow, or sorry, tonight, uh, the Local Spins, spe- is it Speakeasy page? Yeah, Local Spins and Speakeasy, uh, Local Spins Wednesdays is still going strong, uh, if not being there physically. Um, but so, Tree Skin, my group, and Political Lizard uh, are doing a show tonight on the Local Spins uh, Facebook page. I'll see if I can get it up on mine as well. Um, but that's going to be super fun. These guys might hop in on a tune or two. Um, so, yeah. Come and hang. Uh, that's going to be fun tonight. So Tonight at 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock, yep. Tonight at 8 o'clock, tree skin plus maybe some accidental action. Who knows? And then um, lastly, tomorrow, Thursday night, uh, we will be joining the End of America. Uh, their band, um, they host live streams every week. They're more like hangs where we'll like, play Pictionary or something hilarious, and then we'll play a song. So come join us. It's going to be really nerdy. We're probably going to talk about, like, bunch of nerdy stuff like avatar and D and i don't know we'll probably ma- they probably won't want to be friends with us after that but we'll, we'll have a good time so tonight tree skin tomorrow at the end of america friday homestyle festival and saturday philly folk fest we will be live on philly folk fest page so uh yeah thanks for being here thanks for tuning in we'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll see you guys friday And we will continue to post updates about the upcoming album as we continue to work on it. In the meantime, if you want some real behind the scenes, come join us on Patreon. That is the best way to help us right now, especially with our off-road crew and the bills that we're still paying. Um, Patreon is a really good way to do that. Plus, we get to do a bunch of fun stuff like make podcasts and write tour blogs and do an album review club, which we're doing tonight. tonight. So, anyway... Thank you so much, y'all. You're amazing. We'll see you tomorrow and tonight at the local spins. Tree Skin Live. We'll see you guys everywhere. Bye. Bye.